What's up, Fish Tank people? This is Fish Tank Free to you on a Techno Desert Tuesday. How's everybody doing? I hope you're not pissed off. Today's video, I'm bringing you my top five most pissed off Tetris. But first, I want to show you what's going on with the new greenhouse property and a sale I got going on for you all. Anybody want to check? So apparently you need to use what's called engineers when you're doing new construction. This is the civil engineering firm I hired. This is my final development plan that goes in front of the city of Nicholasville uh, later on this month. So I got to pay a boatload of money to get this thing developed to show the city, hey, this is the location. This is what I'm trying to do. Uh, big shout out to my man Javier out in uh, Cali for actually doing a lot of the pre-work of this to give them the plan as it is. But you can see this is the design. Folks. sale for well I now own this piece of property as of about two weeks ago and when your vision is clear it makes everything easier so here's the vision check this out we're gonna build a building from roughly this stake to over here 36 feet this way right here so 36 feet by 24 feet I'm just freestyling right here, but about 24 feet. So a 36 foot by 24 foot wide building. 36 long, 24 foot wide, 20 foot tall. And then beyond that, check this out. Here's what we're gonna build. We're gonna go from there, we're gonna have it connected to a greenhouse that's gonna run ultimately, maybe not out of the gate, but ultimately we're gonna put a greenhouse all the way over to here, which is 36 feet wide by 72 feet long. So you're supporting your boy Dustin, fulfilling his dream by purchasing on this buy one, get one free sale because I know what I want and I need your help to get it. So 36 foot wide, 72 foot long greenhouse. Can you imagine, even if you can't ever come here and visit me in person, can you imagine the webinars and all the great videos and all the great helpful content to help you get a better planet aquarium that I'll be providing in this location. So there's the vision. Somebody asked me the other day why I'm so pissed off. 24 is supposed to be my lucky number. I was born January 24th. This is the E24 error code of my Bosch dishwasher. That means this dishwasher's pump is broken. That means this Bosch dishwasher sucks. Happy wife, happy life. Guess what? See all those dishes in the sink? When there's a bunch of dishes in the sink, that means my wife is pissed off. Not happy wife, not happy life. Oh, by the way, the greenhouse that I was supposed to buy originally that was a hell of a lot cheaper than the first one was at 7524 Old Richmond Road. Guess what? That greenhouse didn't happen across the street from the lady! Number five, most pissed off Tetra. Talking about the Congo Tetra. Look, long before cell phones and Logan Paul was putting dead people on YouTube, the continents of South America and Africa were actually connected. Over millions of years, these continents separated. Guess who was left behind? The Congo Tetra. Yes, the Congo Tetra is from Africa. What is Africa known for? It's cichlids. What are cichlids known for? Being pissed off. What am I known for? Being pissed off. Why am I pissed off at the Congo Tetra? It's simple. I look at aquariums to chill. There's nothing chill about the Congo Tetra. They twitch. They just sit there and like twitch like this all the time. They never sit still. They're just constantly, they're like a five-year-old kid sitting at a dinner table with too much caffeine. There's a lot to like about the Congo Tetra. They got sweet colors. They're a good schooler. They get above average size. They got great looking fins. But the Congo Tetra twitches too much for me. But look, I don't blame the Congo Tetra. You'd be twitching too if you knew you were getting chased around by cichlids all day long. Congo Tetra, my number five most pissed off Tetra. My number four pissed off Tetra on this pissed off Techno Tetra Tuesday. I'm talking about the Exodon Tetra, AKA the Buck 2 Tetra, AKA I will be pissed off too if you were naming me after a bodily feature of mine that was ugly that I could not control. The Exodon Tetra has been called the Buck 2 Tetra, and it doesn't even have teeth. No wonder it's so pissed off. But even if you're pissed off, you should be able to control your emotions. And the Exodon Tetra does not control itself and deserves all the shit I'm about to give him. The Exodon Tetra has been compared to the fierceness of a piranha, but as I've said many times, piranhas suck and are not that fierce. Exodon Tetras have been known to chase, nip the tails, and bite the scales of cichlids. Hey, at least they're picking on a worthy competitor, unlike the punk piranha. 
Exodon Tetras are a Tetra. Tetras are a schooling fish. Yet Exodon Tetras cannot be kept in schools less than eight or more. Why can't you get along with your homies, Exodons? What's the deal? Yeah, when Exodons are kept in schools less than eight, they pick on each other. Why don't you see Exodon Tetras for sale in the pet stores? Because they suck. Exodon Tetra, my number four most pissed off Tetra. My number three most pissed off Tetra. I'm talking about the Blind Cave Tetra. The Blind Cave Tetra is blind because it comes from caves that are so dark in Mexico that it doesn't need eyesight. Why the hell is this fish in the hobby? Who enjoys keeping an ugly blind tetra? If you are keeping this fish and love this fish, drop me a comment on what possesses you to keep an ugly blind fish. The blind cave tetra has been known to become a bit of a fin nipper when it gets older. No The blind cave tetra can't see If I was blind, I'd be the same way. I'd bite everything in my path if I was blind. The blind cave tetra, my number three most pissed off tetra on this Techno Tetra Tuesday. My number two most pissed off Tetra on this pissed off Techno Tetra Tuesday. I'm talking about the Black Widow Tetra, AKA the Black Skirt Tetra. You'd be pissed off too if every time somebody said your name you were reminded of your dead significant other. What's up with the Black Widow Tetra? Does it have that much emotional baggage from losing its spouse that it can't get along with others of its own kind? I've heard accounts of seven of these fish being dropped in an aquarium and one of them will establish a pecking order and kind of beat the crap out of everyone around. What the heck Black Widow Tetra? You can't get along with your homies? Black Widow Tetra, my number two most pissed off Tetra on this pissed off Techno Tetra 2. And my number one the most pissed off Tetra goes like this. I'm so pissed off I couldn't even think of a number one Tetra. So my number one Tetra is this. My number one Tetra is any Tetra in your aquarium that is getting along fine in the school that all of a sudden decides to lose his and start messing with everybody else in the tank. Do me a favor, folks, hit the like button, subscribe button, share button, or go over to my website and support your pissed off boy and his new greenhouse project. Tank on, everybody. Later. So you are supporting your boy Dustin, fulfilling his dream by purchasing on this buy one, get one free sale because I know what I want and I need your help to get it. So 36 foot wide, 72 foot long greenhouse. Can you imagine, even if you can't ever come here and visit me in person, can you imagine the webinars and all the great videos and all the great helpful content to help you get a better planet aquarium that I'll be providing in this location. So there's the vision.